Uh, welcome to this unboxing of the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, one of the best Huawei devices released in 2020. And this is a flagship device and the Pro Plus already shows you that this is the best flagship model from Huawei. So let's open it up. And the first thing that we will see here is the card. Uh, how to find apps with paddle search widget. So it gives you uh, an information on how you can install applications with the pedal search uh, widget. I already did a video about this and how you can update applications and uh, such things. And here you have even phone clones, so how you can clone from your old Android device to your new Huawei device using the phone clone app from uh, Huawei, which I already also did a video about. Then you have the phone itself. A very nice phone, a bit of a heft to it. You can see this is the white version of the phone and this is ceramic apparently. It's a bit of a heavy I have to say. My first uh, first impression of the phone itself. Very very cool and we have a 32 megapixel uh, main shooter on the front and uh, a time of flight sensor as well as a, a unlocking uh, infrared sensor I think it is. Yeah then we have of course some materials here just like the sim eject tool and some paper. Let's get it out of here and we also have a case for the P40 Pro Plus. As you can see here this is a silica case and here we have the instructions in various different languages, quick start guide, as well as a warranty card. Then we have the plugs here. As I'm in New Zealand, we get a New Zealand plug. This is the uh, supercharged 40 watts. Then we have of course the 40 watt USB type C uh, cable that allows you to charge the device via yeah, this cable. Let me get the plug out USB A to USB C. And we have the USB type C headphones here, the normal Huawei ones that I already also did a review on, uh, which are not so bad, I would say, but they're not really in ear, they're just like on ear a bit. So you don't, they don't have like a silicon uh, rubber that goes into your ear canal. That's basically everything for the unboxing of the device. And that's everything in the box. Let's put the box away and let's take a look at the device itself. Let's get it unwrapped here. Can I, I have to just unwrap it like this. And wow, 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 wow. wow. So this is the device. As you can see here, it has this nice little curve on the side and here as well. And on the top as well, nice little curve. And on the bottom as well, single firing speaker, USB type C 3.1, uh, two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM and uh, nano memory card. Uh, we have a screen protector pre-installed. I can feel it if I slide my thumb over the edge of the screen. I can feel the screen protector. I'm not sure if it should be on or not. You can also feel it here. I don't like such screen protectors that you can feel. And then we have, of course, on the side, a power button, a volume rocker. And on the top, we have an infrared, infrared sensor, microphone. And the bottom, definitely also a microphone next to the USB type C port. Uh, Kirin 990 is inside of here, the 5G variant of the chip and it's an octa-core chip with a Mali G76 MP16 GPU, so 16 C GPU co uh, cores inside, uh, 512 um, gigabytes of uh, internal memory, 8 gigabytes of RAM, UFS 3.0 storage, so it should be quite quick. And like I said, 50 megapixels on the back, 8 megapixel telescope, um, zoom 10 times optical, 8 megapixel 3 times optical zoom and a 40, 
megapixel ultra wide angle and of course the time of flight sensor is here built in as well as well as on the front camera leica optics 4k 60 frames up to 60 frames per seconds on the back and front there's no i'm also testing out uh, the uh, photo capability so this is uh, the uh, one-time photo this is the ultra wide photo uh, this is the three times zoom let's go a bit up here Let's try the 10 times zoom, which would be this here. This is awesome. You can really see it is stabilized, first of all. It's not the newest software version, as you might saw after my unboxing. I did not update anything. But you can uh, clearly see that the 10 times zoom is spectacular. You can see the ornaments of this window pretty nice. Even in 3 times zoom, if I zoom in a bit. It is still good and this is the ultra wide you can see more of the building here it's a university building in Auckland and uh, this is a 50 megapixel uh, sensor downscaling to 12 megapixels pretty awesome let's try out the video mode so this is the p40 pro plus now in ultra wide angle camera mode which is the cine camera lens 40 megapixels let's go to one time this is now one time 50 megapixel the best sensor we can go to three times which is now and we can go up to 10 times which is let me zoom out ah. now 10 times zoom and as you can see this is crazy quality i'm not sure which is it, what it is recording in i think it's 1080p 30 frames per second but still the quality is crazy let's try a vlogging test uh, so this is now a vlogging test with a huawei p40 pro plus and i'm uh, walking a bit so you can uh, see stabilization so let me walk up the stairs here and uh, it's the uh, 1080p 60 frames per second recording of the huawei p40 pro plus with the uh, main uh, 32 megapixel camera sensor in uh, the front camera and you can see that uh, when i grab one of the devices here for example that my audio recorder it can focus so it has autofocus and quite close focusing distance even as you can see here pretty nice i would say so pretty good also for vlogging this uh, camera i would say you have to have a selfie stick to have this really wide angle otherwise if you want to hold it in the hand it would look like this it's a bit close i would say so have a selfie stick then it will work a little bit better and i think the stabilization works quite okay for a selfie cam this is perfectly for vlogging i would say you can see yourself it is uh, quite comfortable and uh, yeah quite good in this uh, bright uh, conditions let's try out how the back side camera the cine lens is performing for vlogging so now recording with the cine lens and uh, selfie stick again and let's try the stairs again to see if the stabilization works good cine lens is wide pretty ultra wide uh, for this matter so it should work pretty nicely when it comes to uh, recording uh, stabilized footage and uh, yeah i'm on the top now and uh, yeah can walk down now and uh, colors should be fine dynamic range should be fine the ultra wide sensor is pretty good for recording uh, selfies and vlogs i trust the mate 30 pro ultra wide lens and this is basically the same cine lens in the huawei p40 pro plus so no issues there no problems there probably the uh, stabilization gets even better with um, the new software update on the huawei p40 pro plus and uh, yeah that's everything for the main lens let's try out the uh, yeah, for the cine lens let's try out the main lens so did anything change this is the main lens the 50 megapixel main lens and the selfie block and uh, let's try the stairs a little bit more rapidly to see if this works this has ois and eis so it should work even better than the cine lens even if i go a little bit faster here it should still stabilize nicely uh, so uh, yeah that's i think everything for the first impression 
and uh, by the way everything recorded via the microphone attached via USB Type-C to the smartphone itself because the software can record from the USB Type-C microphone or adapter dongle some motorcycle is very very loud but you probably can still hear me so very cool that this software combo uh, allows me to directly record from my external microphone. There's no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and there's only one light uh, loudspeaker at the bottom. We have uh, Bluetooth 5.1, we have GPS, NFC, infrared um, and USB type C 3.1 with USB on the go support. Internally we have an um, battery of 4200 milliampere hours and it can be fast charged either via 40 watt plug or via 40 watt wireless charging but you need of course a stand wireless charging stand from Huawei which allows you to charge with 40 watts which is a bit unusual and I don't think here in New Zealand you can get it and of course it allows reverse wireless charging up to 27 watts which is i think pretty awesome for a smartphone and a reverse uh, wireless charging uh, this is the white ceramic version there's a black ceramic version as well available and uh, yeah this let's turn on the device we're pressing and holding the power button it has a 6.58 inch uh, screen with a resolution of 1200 by 2640 pixels so a little bit more than the uh, full HD plus and uh, yeah the device is turning on the display itself has the ability of uh, presenting you 90 Hertz so 90 times in a second it's refreshing the display which should lead to a very fluid device so let's get started here we are in New Zealand choose New Zealand next we agree to the licensing terms. We could, could insert an in SIM card right now. I skip this. We can uh, enter our credentials for the Wi-Fi. I already feel this. Um, it's very grippy kind of feeling with the uh, protection foil, with the screen protector, which is a little bit, I don't like this, I have to say. I really don't like this um, kind of uh, yeah, protection that first of all you can feel it here on the side if you swipe back or something like this and here even if you type on something it's not like glass it's like a bit of rubbery texture which I really don't like so probably I will take this off but we'll see. You have to have a Huawei ID if you want to proceed otherwise it will lag you can skip it by going to I don't have a Huawei de uh, device account and then you can uh, click on skip but they do keep nagging on uh, that you uh, turn this on and uh, there's a cloud backup option that you can use the same as with Google usually uh, and uh, in this case uh, I have the option to just uh, say okay I'll turn this on uh, I want to sync my data contacts uh, browser and so on and I can then simply copy over also my Wi-Fi stuff all the stuff from my uh, Huawei uh, Mate XS for example or my Mate 30 or other Huawei devices which is I think a good feature uh, so you have this option here is a privacy notice I click on agree and I have the option to have the find my phone option here and uh, yeah Huawei mobile services are like what should it send personalized ads ad ID statistics and HMS core auto updates which I can enable and I can disable the personalized apps as well as the uh, ad ID stuff disable ad ID and click on next uh, device protection I can send up a fingerprint and face recognition so I have to give it a pin I can say I want a three digit pin choose a very easy f pin here click on OK add fingerprint OK for some reason it switched to a dark theme now you can see that the fingerprint reader is a bit high up here on the device but as the device is a bit bigger 
it makes a lot of sense to have the fingerprint reader a bit higher up also because of the heft of the device you can set up a face recognition set up face uh, recognition enable ways to wake and can enable or disable this here let me disable this i don't like this and get started now have to do it here as you can see maybe you saw it and uh, yeah enhanced services enable all services i can import data now move data from another device restore from huawei cloud backup and i have the option then to uh, restore stuff from the huawei cloud backup and uh, here i have various different uh, cloud backup stuff that i can restore simply from my mate 30 pro for example which is like here five i think this is from the 7th of november the latest one i can choose this one and I have then basically everything that i need it's even restoring like gallery photos and videos that i don't want to restore in this case but yeah you can if you want to restore this you can say restore from a cloud backup or set us set up as a new device restore from uh, move data from another device there you have the option to use uh, the uh, iphone or ipad for example which is also available here so very handy tool i will set up as a new device i of course use the gesture control and get a nice little overview on how they work i know this already wonder if there's an option or possibility to skip this finish and i have some apps that i can install already sound uh, hound uh, jazio calories tom tom navigation snapchat deezer uh, wechat aliexpress tiktok and so on and some of them have already here uh, already marked for installation i don't want any of those apps i want to show you how much free space you have and here we are on the device itself let's go into uh, settings and let's go into the storage and as you can see here from the 512 gigabytes used are 15 0.96 so basically 16 gigabytes are used already uh, for the operating system itself and 822 gigabytes uh, megabytes for apps and app data and that's the device itself it's setting stuff up it's probably downloading stuff as it is not the newest version i assume and uh, yeah this is the display and as you can see here we have the option to set the refresh rate by default it is set to high which is 90 hertz for smoother animations in terms of bloatware we have not much installed but you can find on the second screen some uh, business options which or folders which you can see there they have a little download symbol there so they are not downloaded microsoft offices here for example data clock and two degrees two degrees is a, a mobile carrier in new zealand is here and there's express vpn and uh, cam scanner and those are marked with the little download so they are just recommendations they're not really installed here and i can of course remove them without any issues i think this is a good compromise because you don't have then the you have of course a bit of clutter here just like asphalt 9 but if i click on this you can see that it wants to download this so instead of installing it on your device and wasting space already you just have like a recommendation list here that you can install if you like to but you don't have to install them same goes for lifestyle and then uh, social media like tinder telegram and so on so you have the option to install them via one click but you don't have to i think it's a good solution As the phone does not ship with uh, the Google services, Google Mobile services, but Huawei Mobile services, you have the app gallery here, and this allows you to install several applications. Let me agree to this. My current country is set to Germany because my Huawei account is set up in Germany, but it doesn't change much. Only the recommendation list here, you have the recommended apps again. I can install them if I'd like to, or I can just say uh, skip. I don't want to install them. And I have a new update already for the app gallery as well as all the other um, options. So here I have the option to just install updates. As you can see here, this is how it will look like. And it will just like on Google Play service, install updates. And in this case, it closed itself because 
it is updating itself but if i open it up again you can see yeah this is how it looks like and i can go here and update a lot more uh, stuff and i can say update recommended and also auto update via wi-fi so it should auto update those applications as well in a few minutes as you can see here there are lots and lots of updates to install after the first launch of uh, the device and you can of course go to feature it and have some applications here that you can download and alternatively you also have the option to use uh, petal search so this is now Huawei mobile services update installing in the background they have like a new license agreement that you have to uh, agree to you have uh, petal search somewhere there it is petal search I can click on this and it will allow you to search for more applications no thanks no and got it and uh, allow when using and uh, yeah I have uh, local news here as well as the option to just go in here and uh, have collections of various different applications or pages and I have of course oops I have of course the option to simply search for stuff so if I want to search for Netflix for example I have the option to well, it might be one of the searches that you were, might want to use. I search for apps and have the ABK Pure a link here. I can click on install. It's downloading Netflix in the newest version and allows me to install this uh, APK. Let's do this so I can show you that this really works. As you can see here, internet is working very fast and without any issues. And if you install something with Petal Search, this is how it will look like. And yeah, installing, allow, hit install, don't leave the screen, it's installing, installation successful, I can go back here and the Netflix symbol should appear, there it is, I can click on the Netflix symbol and as you can see here it will allow me to log in in a few seconds as you can see here get started and I have the option just to log in so it's asking me for signing in and put in my stuff and can sign in here let's see which version of this system we have running here let's go to system update we can see we have version 10 1 uh, 132 which is not the newest version i think there should be a newer version available so if we search for updates now it will show you update available 10 1 142 and this updates improves camera focusing, uh, camera security of uh, June 2020. And I'm pretty sure after I installed this and uh, will run an update again, there will be security update for August and uh, for October and September and then up until November, I think. So this is this. I will do this later on. One thing that I want to show you is um, let me go to pedal search and try to search for DRM info because some people say Netflix yeah Netflix doesn't run in the new in the highest uh, um, in the highest resolution so no HD support there's an exception I think the exception is here this device the Huawei P40 Pro Plus which is a little bit expensive but it is the device that has the option to play also in HD Netflix in HD because it has um, white wine level one apparently let's check if this is true or um uh, yes it has clear c white wine level one security level one as you can see here white wine cdm security level one so it has hd support for netflix i don't know how this device got this and the normal p40 p40 pro and even i think mate 40 and mate 40 pro and i think also mate 40 pro plus didn't get them i'm not sure about this um if you have a Mate 40, Mate 40 Pro, uh, you can, of course, tell me if the white wine level there is also uh, one which allows you to play back um, full HD videos on Netflix, for example. So that's this. And this is now everything for this uh, software overview uh, to the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. This is everything for this unboxing. If you'd like to see more, have questions uh, on the device, you can write in the comment section. That's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.